and saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Rude. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Maybe Joy Toy is a, a regular uh, prostitute and a doll is the thing with special implant where the computer takes over the doll and stuff? Maybe. Uh, how'd you come up with this, Judy? How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Michael's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and Clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. Oh. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right, gotta see it to believe it. Oh no. Someone said it. Tom? Am I gonna have to duke it out with this dude? Pull that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Oh no. Unconvincing. Not convinced. If I'm gonna count on ninja dolls, I'm gonna need to see some real action. Like, wanna spar? What else? Oh, Jesus. Did I do that? Oh, Jesus. I... Mm. Just Fudge. don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! Is it, though? Oh, hello. You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some v? cardio. If you've got something to say, just say it. Who? Me? This is my impressed face. <laughs> nice work, Judy. I did yourself. If you were to sell that. Be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro nuked. Okay. Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum, a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought, a half-baked insane <laughs> plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. 
Where do we find this Harumi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. This just might work. We get him in his apartment where he thinks he's completely safe. Bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tone, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Oh, there's so much more. Johnny? Get it together. Rather than kill anyone, when has that ever stopped us? Sure. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. <coughs> I'll still have to meet with Yomi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Are you upset, Johnny? Oh, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. Mm -hmm. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Now we're talking. Right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Ah, uh, don't mention it. V, everything okay? Johnny, are you upset with me? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? I couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sure. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Johnny, I know you're upset, we're risking our butts, but... The... The information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted in-cart station? In the south of Japantown, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Okay. He knows her bots. I know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. No. Oh, interesting. This place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Oof! Chick's got taste, except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you, 
Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Johnny, look, I know you're upset, but we gotta help out our girl here. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. No, no. Oh. Oh, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Anything more you want to say, Johnny? getting their feet wet don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro who would have thought perilous future electropunk i'd rather puke out my ears what's with your eyes is that like morse code or something or just glitch You have a TV in the toilet? Really, girl? Really? Okay. Um, I did not want it to change the mission to... Um, to Takemura, though. Happy together? Talk to the cops? No. Nope. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, hi there. Oh, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Oh, did you think I was... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> what do you mean job complete? We, we were supposed to do stuff, right? We're supposed to go to the, like, M80 tower or something. Swedenborg Riviera. Girl from Rivier Riviera. Okay. Wait, that can't be right. Right, nope. I don't know that. I guess we should go see Takimura. Or let's uh, let's do some of these side things first. Sure, let's do some of these side gigs. Let's call this, call this dude. Ozo Bozo. It's V. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. Oh no. Mm-hmm. And for what exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. Couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Have Listen, you just seen me driving, shooter, dude? So let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. <laughs> Thing is, I like working with the best. Now, I know the best don't oh. come cheap. Now we're talking. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. 
got what it takes. Or are they wrong about you? Oof. Uh yeah, let's let's save. Oh boy. Alright. I'm in. Japan town then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. Oh boy. Oh boy. Apparently we're the best at driving chat. Apparently we are the best there is at driving. So let that put your fears to rest. And I will hear none of it. Okay? Oh, wait. Uh, follow the dots. Who the devil would say I'm the best in town when it comes to driving? We're obviously Ozo Bozo. I mean, he's seen my handwork. He is obviously impressed and obviously has some kind of neurological damage or is straight up blind. <laughs> Oh, hello. Huh? Now let's just be cool approaching this thing. Oh, it's okay away. On Grew calm and cautious then. Oh, dude, don't just ram into me like that. Rude. We'll fit, right? We'll fit. Yeah, we were supposed to take a take a left. <laughs> How about a save here, so we don't have to do all of that again? I mean, on the off chance that we would actually, you know, total our car or something like not that that's ever happened or anything, but just same. You want trouble? Just you know, better safe than sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Just a scratch. Oh, so bozo. Oh, no. Hey, you're V, yes? Oh, fuck. You didn't answer my question. There's something on your face, bruh. Uh, there's something on your face? The grenade. Can I ask why? Do you have a, a juggling accident or something? <laughs> Not cool. You ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V, correct? Yeah, that's me. Good, then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Okay. We can do a little China. With a clown with a grenade on his nose. Doesn't that bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one in your face? Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. <laughs> Amazing. The writing in this game, I tell you. Oh, nice come on. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know America. where Brazil is. <laughs> never know with you gringos dude you're on the left lane you turn left there we go uh oh speaking of turn left Stay back, okay? so 
Tiger claws. Heard of them? Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? Oh, now you Just want me to take the left? Can't help being curious. Really? Fine. I mean, it's not a glorious job, but it's an honest day's of work. Worth work an honest day's worth of work. There we go. Where do you actually want me to go? Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. There we go. I mean, as long as the eddies are good, I mean, a merc's gotta do what a merc does, right? Oh, you're gonna go in there, cap some. Oh! Dude! Did you see him driving here? He's gonna go cap some fool, and then we're gonna have to. Run away, is that it? This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. We came all this way to get takeout? You could say that. Oh boy. Um. Love our little, little, little uh, doggo there. Our cyber doggo. Oh, hi. Grenades up your ass, too. <laughs> it's gonna contage you. Better if you told me what you were planning from the get go. That's true, what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. Well, if you don't, you know, watch your language, buddy, there's gonna be more than a grenade up your butt. Alright, let's go. That's true, what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? What about my payment? What about it? Here, like I said before, the best don't come cheap. It's kind of cheap, though. V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. Something tells me this ain't the last we're gonna see of this clown. Even our car is laughing at us. Oh boy. Okay. Then what? Killing in the name of love. Where is this? Actually, is there anything nearby? Oh, hello. Talk to the cops. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's do this cluster here. How far is that? Not that bad. We can run. I'd rather not get back into the car, if I'm completely honest. Oh, you're all afraid because I'm running after you with a gun in my hand? I mean, why would that worry you? Jordan. 
Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in the fight against multiple sclerosis. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. The cost of this cutting-edge therapy treatment has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per month. For the second consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. Let's go talk to the cops real quick. Get that off our list. I think they're here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Hi there. It's you. Did you talk to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together. But cry out loud, Mendez. Got another drive. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? 